Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the video. So this one here today, we're just going to cover uh, some updates that have happened to the Switch. Nintendo pushed out the 9.2 official firmware yesterday, March 2nd, and in less than 24 hours, a few key things have already been updated. So in this one, I'm just going to go over with you what's been updated and how to do those updates. Uh, it's fairly easy and straightforward. Uh, so that way you could be up to date on a couple of key things like Atmosphere, Hecate, or Cosmos if you use that. And then we'll cover a little bit of information regarding the SIG patches. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and one last thing before we get started. This is not about how to jailbreak your Switch. It's already assumed that you have a modded system. And of course, you know pretty much how to work your way around it. Okay, so let's start with Atmosphere. This has been updated to 10.3, which gives it compatibility with the new 9.2 firmware that just came out. They made some improvements and added some support uh, for a couple of things here and there. They've improved on the memory and they've even added more compatibility with some more SD cards which is always a welcome thing. You can grab the zip file, which comes with Atmosphere and Homebrew Loader 2.3 and Homebrew Menu 3.2. But I'm gonna tell you right now that Homebrew Loader and Homebrew Menu, they still work fine with all of this updated stuff. So 9.2 didn't break it. So you can update some of your other homebrews and custom firmware like Atmosphere and whatnot, and Homebrew Loader and Homebrew Menu do not need to be updated the uh, previous versions of 2.3 and 3.2 still work just fine and then here you have the fusey primary payload or bin file for atmosphere by itself in case you just want to run it plain jane vanilla and next up are Hecate and Nix, which have been updated as well. Hecate is now 5.1.2, which supports 9.2 firmware. They've also fixed a few issues here. They've made some improvements, so you can check those out. Same thing with Nix. There's also apparently going to be a big update soon coming out for Nix. So when that happens, I will let you know and I'll probably end up trying it out and letting you guys know how it is. So in order to update Hecate and Nix, if that's what you use, it's very simple. Just get the zip file and literally copy and paste uh, over everything and make sure you hit replace. There is no need to delete stuff first. It's just a matter of copying, pasting, and just replacing whenever you're asked to. So pretty simple, straightforward. All right, next up is Cosmos, which gets updated as well. This one is now on 15.2 called Beat This Love. And I happen to love Cosmos. It's my go-to setup. I've done it on all my personal switches as well as family members and friends and customers. I, I just like it a lot. Never really had any issues with it. But again, that's just a matter of personal preference. The usual stuff here gets updated. A couple of things we already talked about. The atmosphere gets updated to the 10.3 as well as Hecate and Nyx. They've also done some overall improvements and fixes here and there. They even added the Tesla overlay menu, which is there by default. It tells you here how to activate it, and it comes with the status monitor overlay, which is pretty cool. It monitors many of the hardware stats in real time. So you, of course, can, I believe, change that and add different uh, types of overlay menus, which I've covered in previous videos, like on my Hacking Modding Monday news and info segments. And I'm going to do probably a couple of tutorials on these overlay menus here very soon. Anyway, you can check out some of the other improvements and fixes. Now, you don't need to add everything here because not everything needs to be updated. I mean, you could just copy and paste everything from the zip file if you wanted to that you get from right here, but I'll just go over with you very quickly. If you're already using Cosmos, what you will need to copy and paste on your SD card. So let's move over to that real quick. 
So here in the Cosmos zip file, it's pretty much simple to update from 15.1. It's a matter of copying and pasting everything over. But some people ask, you know, do I have to copy and paste everything over? Is it going to throw something off or whatever? Um, no, it shouldn't. It should work just fine. There is a few things maybe in the switch folder that you don't need. For example, if you already have the app store installed if you already have edison gold leaf lock pick and the nx dump tool already installed these have not been updated and the previous versions still work so you can delete these folders before you copy and paste everything over uh, but you know it's up to you the homebrew menu is still the same so basically you'll be copying and pasting over uh, the same one <laughs> that already exists from the previous version so if you don't want to include this Nero there and leave the old one there you can but again it's up to you don't forget that some payload injectors do require you to change the name of your payload to payload.bin so make sure you change the Hecate uh, payload bin file to payload.bin if your uh, like dongle or whatever payload injector you're using requires you to change the name and lastly are the sig patches or the ES and FS uh, patches binaries or whatever these do not need to be updated so if you were on cosmos 15.1 or using the older atmosphere or whatever then these same patches will still work they posted it yesterday after the firmware update that the previous patches still work and there is no need for them to be updated so you don't have to worry about updating those the old ones will work just fine and the last thing we're going to cover is something that I know people ask because they always ask in the forums and in comments and stuff. And that is, hey, if I didn't update, can I still update these things to take advantage of all the new stuff and whatnot? And yes, absolutely, you can. Now, I do recommend that you be at least on 9.0 and up in order to use uh, these latest things because as you may or maybe don't know with 9.0 a few things changed so make sure that you're at least on 9.0 or higher in order to use these but yeah if you don't want to update your firmware uh, officially to 9.2 and you're on 9.0 whatever or 9.1 you can update to the latest atmosphere or the latest Hecate and Nix or the latest Cosmos, pretty much anything that we covered here and updating is fairly easy in most cases, as we talked about earlier, it's just a matter of copying and pasting everything over and that's it. So yeah, you don't have to go to 9.2, but you do need to be at least on 9.0 to use this stuff. And I do recommend that because quite a bit has been added here. There's also, you know, just overall improvements and stability and bug fixes and new features. So yeah, by all means, if you want to update without having to go to 9.2, you can and everything will work just fine. And that is going to do it for today's video, guys. You know, I appreciate you watching. This was more of a public service announcement type deal just to make you guys aware of some of the changes of the homebrews and custom firmware and stuff, mainly the free stuff that's out there that has been updated. And just to give you some FYI on it. And if you found anything here informative, useful, helpful, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, of course, the best way to do any of that is to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already those two things go a long way to help keeping me motivated to bring you all kinds of content on the channel and i am going to be working a lot here soon to bring you way more videos that spread over just a bunch of stuff from raspberry pi to switch to the ps3 pc stuff and so on and so forth i may even do some like arch linux and ubuntu tutorials um, with VirtualBox on the pc and yeah all of that so anyway thanks again for watching guys much love going out to everyone be careful be safe have fun and we will see you on the next one